Mr Sinclair for the non attached members. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. I would question the title of this debate about the rise of right wing extremism in, years, in Europe. Surely it should be about extremism. And Commissioner Reading, I know your desire for equality. Maybe you could tell us when we're going to debate left wing extremism, just in, in the name of it, equality. A key dynamic in politics is the relationship between the centre and the periphery. The centre where power lies is a truly democratic society in a constant state of flux. As opinion, debate and events filter to the centre and shift our values and priorities, this is very healthy. However, if those in power at the centre refuse to listen to the people whose concerns may be inconvenient, then by ignoring them they push them further out towards the periphery. They push them towards the extremes. Extreme thought, extreme speech and ultimately extreme acts. It is no surprise to political observers in Britain that the far right only ever takes seats from the left of our Labour Party, not the Conservative Party. When Prime Minister Gordon Brown infamously labelled the respectable Labour voter Gillian Duffy as a bigot simply for expressing genuine concerns about immigration and economic policy that differ to his own, he became a recruitment sergeant for extremists. The blame for the rise of extremism lies at the feet of the political class that refuses to take into account of the opinions and concerns of the electorate and the people whom they should be accountable.